For more than two decades, the U.S. government has maintained that al-Qaeda acted alone on September 11, 2001. But a newly public video obtained by 60 Minutes is raising questions about whether the Saudi government had any involvement in the terror attacks. A man who the FBI says served as an operative of the Saudi intelligence service and was closely tied to two of the 9-11 hijackers is seen on this video at the Capitol. He filmed it back in 1999, within 90 days of the time during which a former FBI agent says 9-11 targets were being decided. Omar Albayumi is heard referencing a, quote, plan in the video. Lawyers for 9-11 families and former intelligence analysts believe he was surveilling the Capitol as part of this plan. Let's bring in CBS News national security contributor Samantha Vinograd. She formerly served as the assistant secretary for counterterrorism and threat prevention for the Department of Homeland Security. Samantha, always good to see you. To what extent does this video strengthen the argument of 9-11 families currently suing Saudi Arabia over alleged ties to the terror attacks? Lindsay, thank you. And to put this in context, let's remember that the 9-11 Commission did assess in their public findings in 2004 that there's no evidence that the Saudi government as an institution or Saudi officials individually funded al-Qaeda. At the same time, since 9-11, there have been ongoing investigations into various Saudi and other nationals for their potential ties to al-Qaeda in roles in facilitating the attack. The video that CBS exclusively obtained and which aired yesterday does show an individual of concern, Omar Abayumi, ostensibly taking a home video, really, of sites in Washington, D.C. It is worth noting that Abayumi is believed to have had ties to Saudi intelligence. However, the underlying theory of the case is that he did have ties with two 9-11 hijackers. Fifteen of the 19 hijackers were Saudi nationals and provided logistical and other financial support here for them in the, in the U.S. He's denied any links to al-Qaeda. However, there were ongoing investigations. I will note that the footage in the video that, he, that we aired is and was publicly available information. So I don't personally think it uh, is a smoking gun that ties al-Bayoumi and the Saudi government to the 9-11 attacks. But at the same time, it is important that these um, critical cases play out in the courts. So that said, since it's not a smoking gun, does this impact relations at all between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia right now? At this time, I don't think that this new footage, uh, which is publicly available now, does impact ties between the United States and Saudi Arabia. The U.S. government has had this footage for two decades or so. So the U.S. government has known about this footage for a significant amount of time. So I don't think it'll materially impact bilateral ties between the United States and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. If the U.S. government should one day conclude that the Saudi government was involved, what actions could it take? Well, as we recall, the U.S. government invaded Iraq for uh, what we at the time perceived to be uh, their links uh, to 9-11 and uh, similarly took military action in Afghanistan as well. However, 9-11 um, happened decades ago, and if there was an assessment that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was directly involved in 9-11, I do imagine that Saudi uh, officials now would say that they had no part in that and that it was frankly, you know, distant history and would seek to distance themselves from any allegations that happened in 2001, Lindsay. Okay, Samantha Vinograd, thank you. Thanks. At a note to viewers, a full report of this story will air on 60 Minutes this fall.